Hey guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. Today's a pretty exciting day for us. Uh, we just got some of these in, just a very limited supply of these in. Uh, this is the all new Coyote CS2220 and 2520 uh, model series, uh, also known as the CS20 series. Uh, this tractor has been a long awaited and uh, the CS series has needed an overhaul for many, many years now. Um, and today we're going to go over what they've done to create this awesome new subcompact line for our customers, show you just what they did to it, all the changes from the previous series, and show you what this has over the competition, and give you a little insider scoop on why this might be the perfect subcompact tractor for you guys' needs out there. Um, first, I'm going to talk about a couple of the specs. Uh, I got the spec sheet kind of printed out from the owner's manual because Believe it or not, the spec sheet isn't even available to the consumer online yet. Uh, again, you know, these really haven't even been fully released yet from Coyote. Uh, just starting to hit a couple dealers' lots. We're one of the many, one of the few that have gotten it. A um, couple of these I already have sold, so we're down to one or two left. We got four in. Um, but uh, anyways, so some of the specs, they're going to offer this in a 21 horse, which is going to be a CS2220, and then a 24.5 horse which is a CS2520. Um, they're gonna offer this with a optional 50 inch front mount snow blower, an optional 60 inch as well as a 54 inch mid mount mower, and an optional full subframe, uh, uh, full subframe backhoe on the back. Um, and of course the loader that we have featured here today. There's gonna be three different tire choices, uh, the all new R14s, uh, the R4 industrials, which are pictured today, and then turf tires as well. Um, the engine uh, is a three-cylinder Daydong diesel. That is going to be one of the many few things that have changed. Previously, this was a Shabira engine, and now Coyote makes their own three-cylinder uh, subcompact uh, diesel engine for their subcompact series. So now we can say from 21 horse all the way up to 73 horse, Coyote makes 100% their own engines, which is awesome. Uh, that's something new. Uh, and we're gonna stick with a two range hydrostatic as all the other comparisons uh, for other models out there in the subcap compact line have for transmission. Um, and uh, hydraulic pump capacity. We are running about right under seven gallons a minute, almost seven gallons a minute. Um, and let's see. It's gonna be a, a three point hitch on the back, your mid PTO and rear PTO um, the rear PTO is a 540, of course, it's pretty standard. Um, and uh, let's see what else we got on here. The loader specs, it's probably an important thing a lot of you guys want to check out. The loader specs, the maximum lift height to pivot pin on this tractor is going to be 73.7 inches. Um, if you're looking at the bucket being flat level to the bottom of the bucket, lift full height, you're at 68.1 inches. Um, clearance with the bucket dump at 45 degrees down, 54.8. And uh, let's see, probably the biggest, most important loader spec that you guys are all going to wonder about is going to be the lift capacity. Let's see if they have that on here. Yes, they do. Um, lift capacity to maximum height at bucket pivot pin um, is 1,062 pounds. Uh, that is the highest lift capacity that I know of on a subcompact tractor. We're going to go over why it has such a high lift capacity in a few minutes. Um, and I also am going to say, now that we're talking about lift capacity and how heavy this tractor will lift, um, it's going to require some serious counterweight to actually produce that heavy lifting because this tractor does not weigh, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. So getting that lift capacity is going to be hard unless we get some counterweight on this machine. So, uh, Let's drop this off and uh, drop, put it to the side and we'll start going over some of the features. So let's start in the front end and we'll work our way back. Um, this is an all new design loader with a skid steer quick attach. That's something totally new. The CS subcompact Coyote series has never offered that. It's a two lever system right there, which is awesome. Um, the next biggest thing is the bucket change up. Obviously it is quick attach bucket, of course. Uh, 48 inch bucket, they redesigned the bucket to make it a little bit beefier. Um, it's actually a really good design the way they've done it. Still has the provisions to add on a bolt on cutting edge if you so choose to reinforce this bucket. Um, 
New design on the grill guard, which is cool. It's got a little Coyote logo in it, which is pretty awesome. The loader itself is now a four piston loader. Previously, it was a three piston. Um, so that is part of the reason that lift capacity has gone up so tremendously from the old series. So a four piston loader is really nice. Um, the hydraulic lines are tucked away and steel lines up front here, so you will not rip those off when you're lift, lifting with the loader down low and working with the tractor. Um, a lot of tractors have just, you know, standard non-steel lines, so these are hard piped lines on half, over half the loader. Um, so the loader's a four piston. That's probably the, one of the biggest upgrades with the quick attach. Those are some serious things that people wanted. The next thing we're going to talk about is now it offers a steel hood Whereas previously, this was all a plastic hood. So uh, everybody you know, complained about some of the other brands having plastic hoods in this size, as well as, uh, as, well as Coyote. So they stepped up to the plate and made this a full steel hood. Um, we're gonna open up the engine bay real quick, give you a sneak peek at what that looks like. It's a one piece hood design, like the old CS series was. So that's pretty you know, standard. Um, engine back there, uh, radiator, your, uh, Interstate battery, air filter, your three cylinder Daydong diesel. Uh, on this side, you got your alternator starter. On this side over here, we'll come over here real quick and show you what this has. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's really ideal to take off your loader, um, but right down here, you're just going to have basically, you're going to have your hydraulic lines, your throttle cable, a few different things on this side. Um, again, pretty easy to access most of the stuff. You know, nothing, don't have to take side panels off on this tractor, which is really nice um, so anyways it gives you a quick sneak peek at the uh, at the engine bay your uh, engine oil filters on this side and your dipsticks also on this side close that back up yeah if I can close it right there we go um, probably the next biggest feature on this loader is going to be a quick release loader um, and you know not the standard pull pin they actually went to a new design where you pull up this latch, uh, pull up the latch on the other side, drop your kickstands down right here on both sides, and quick disconnect your four hydraulic lines right over there. Uh, quick park loader, gonna take you very minimal time to take this loader off. No, uh, no problem now with these, with these levers that come up, makes, your time, makes it even easier to hook up and detach this loader, which is really nice. Uh, inner tube grease fittings, as Coyote's always famous for on all their loaders, um, which is great. Uh, our four tires that we're talking about today with hydraulic piston front steering. We'll come back here and start talking about a lot of the other features that they've added to this tractor. Um, number one is a redesign of the floorboard, um, as well as making uh, the floorboard steel and pretty, pretty rugged with a nice floor mat, rubber floor mat in there. Um, steel fenders as well, that's pretty nice. Um, on this area, we're gonna talk about a few features that they've added. Tilt steering wheel, really nice feature. Um, deluxe feature that a lot of subcompact tractors do not have. All your lighting and horn and four ways are right here. Um, parking brake, parking brake lever, brake right there. On this side over here, we have your, uh, your PTO uh, to engage your mid or rear PTO uh, and you know switch from mid to rear, or run both at the same time. Your engagement of your PTO is actually over there. This is the selector for what PTO is running. This is your cutting height for a mid-mount mower. Um, to adjust that, it has you know, cutting heights that you can set. And this is a, like a locking one where you can lock it in a certain height that you want for the cutting height. Cruise control. That button you push down, it's gonna lock that pedal down. So if you're mowing with this tractor a lot, that's a great feature. Um, was never a standard feature on this subcompact series. Locking differential right here. Um, your seat has a, uh, a forward and reverse on it. Um, this is actually a backhoe unit we're looking at without the backhoe on it. So it's got a flip around seat for the backhoe. Obviously, if you weren't getting the backhoe model, you wouldn't have the flip around seat, but um, that's kind of nice. And uh, the seat also will come up this way if you want to, you know, when you leave it out in the open, you don't want to get water on the seat or whatever. That's kind of nice. Um, another cool feature over on this side here is what they've done with the key switch. Probably the biggest complaint on the old CS series was that key stuck out and hit everybody's knee every time you got on the tractor. Um, the number one selling key for Coyote was the CS series key. Um, I wonder why, because this protruded out inches and inches and hit everybody's foot every time they got in and out of the tractor. So they've uh, snugged it up, so that's kind of nice, so you don't have to worry about that as much anymore. Four wheel drive up and down, um, and manual engagement as always stayed the same. 
Uh, low and high range is over on this uh, right side of the tractor. And there is your loader stick. This is probably another huge change up for recent uh, things that customers desire. This is a fender mounted joystick on the CS series before you had a joystick way out here that you had to reach your arm out for. So fender mounted joystick with a lockout option on that joystick so no one can mess with it right there, which is really slick. Um, three point lift right here for your rear three point hitch right by your side. Dual armrests on the seat, which is just awesome. Um, that was never offered standard as a feature um, on the subcompact series. Push button electric over hydraulic PTO. That's awesome right there. You know, no clutch or braking or anything. Just push that button down on and off. Independent side-by-side -side HST pedals, which is Coyote's famous for, has always offered on the CS, but a redesign to make them bigger. The old CS series, they were a little smaller. Um, again, back to those hard lines. You know, you don't have to worry about ripping hydraulic hoses off on the lower end of the tractor. They're all hard lined now. Fuel tank right here, uh, toolbox right here. Redesign on some uh, lighting here, which is kind of unique, a little bit different. Uh, foldable roll bar where you can pull that out, fold it right down. Uh, makes it easy to get inside the garage. On the back here, you got your three point hitch. Uh, this one actually has the subframe kit already on it to, for when we add the backhoe later on, but category one three point hitch and your PTO a little tab for a draw, like a draw bar tab on there to put a ball on it. Um, this is just a really unique redesign of the tractor. A couple cup holders, phone holders. Forgot to mention there's a USB and a 12 volt outlet right here. I mean, this tractor's decked out with all the modern features that any modern person would ever want. Um, really, there isn't one complaint that I could complain about on this model of missing a feature right now. Um, this thing is just awesome. It's got a lot of space, a lot of operator space. The most common thing I see is folks buy a subcompact tractor and their number one complaint is they have no room on the tractor. You're getting in and out of it, hitting your legs on every which thing. I mean, this tractor, I'm a I'm pretty tall guy, six foot, and I mean, I can hop in and out of this. And when I'm driving, I mean, I got tons of room all on the floorboard and you don't feel crammed. These armrests are wide. Um, so really, really a nice design. And again, that fender mounted joystick slick. I'm gonna start it up, run it around real quick. I um, probably won't get this one too dirty because it's already sold, um, but we'll at least start her up so you can hear Ron real quick and check out how everything runs here. Fire it up, gotta get it in neutral. Let's see here. This is probably the quietest engine Coyote's ever produced on a smaller series tractor. Um, I mean, it just purrs like a kitten, very quiet. The, uh, the hydraulic speed at an idle is pretty good and the lift at an idle is pretty phenomenal as well. Um, we'll throttle it up, give it a little bit more power here. Pretty easy to do multi-functions once you get the hang of it. I'm still getting used to this valve but it's pretty easy to do them. Tons of hydraulic power to lift this sucker up. Turning radius will give you a little, uh, little demonstration on that. See how good she is. Very good turning radius. That's all low range. All right, it gives you a little demonstration on this new unit. Um, I hope you guys love this video and love this new series. If you want a quote on one, give us, shoot us an email. Um, right now we are running an extreme shortage of uh, inventory due to coronavirus and uh, crazy people buying hundreds and hundreds of tractors, um, which is a good thing, but it's hard right now because we can't keep inventory in stock. So uh, bear with us if you are interested in the tractor right now, we're getting inventory in slowly, um, starting to get more in as time goes on, but um, there's never been a time in our lives that we you know, weren't able to get tractors like the way it is right now. So um, we're getting stuff in, bear with us. If you're interested in this, give us a call or email us. We may not have one you know, in a month when you call, but 
we'll for sure have more coming in so we can get your name on the list. Give us a call, 413-253-5456. I hope you enjoy this video. It's been a long awaited and we'll see you next time.